Welcome back, everyone. We are going to get warmed up. Today we are doing uh, legs and cardio. So a lot of cardio, a lot of legs. All you need today are some hand weights for the leg component, right? And we are going to use some slotting pads if you're on a hardwood floor for uh, some mountain climbers, some cardio work. And then we are also going to introduce a step, a box, a chair in a little bit for some additional cardio. So I'm gonna get you to start with some air squats, feet shoulder width apart. If you have a smart watch on, you can turn that on. You're gonna swing those arms sitting down into an air squat. We're just gonna open up those hips, prime that body for movement. Get our heart rate pumping a little bit to get us ready for our cardio and our legs. If you're a little sore from a couple days ago, this will also help reduce that soreness. So I just got a new pair of runners, super excited about them. And I traditionally have always been in a cross trainer kind of shoe. Good, nice and lit on those toes. But over the years, because I used to be a runner, I used to use running shoes, and now I'm back in a cross trainer. And one of the things that my Cairo was talking to me about when I was looking to get new shoes, is if you're doing workouts like this, you want a cross trainer kind of shoe. Good morning, Allison. Right, because you want something that has really good heel stability, but nothing too wide at the base that will, that you can roll your foot over. Anyways, just want to share that info with you. Amazing, touch those toes. We're just gonna open up those hips, get a nice stretch in the back of those legs. Walk yourself to a plank. Step up with one foot. Land here, breathe. Bring that foot a little closer up, Allison, if you can. You want it just to the outside of those hands, yeah. And bring your hands to the inside of that foot. Good, step back, walk back. Touch those toes, walking forward. Step that right foot to the outside of that right hand so you can get a nice stretch in that hip. Good, step back, walk back. Get a nice stretch in the back of those legs, walk yourself forward. Other side, land. Good, step back, walk back. So as some, as some of you guys know, I always like to do dynamic warm-ups. It almost feels like it's not so much of a warm-up by adding in these kind of preliminary movements before you get right into your resistance training, your metabolic conditioning are really important to kind of prime the body, get that blood flow, warming up those muscles. One more side for me, please. Walking out to a plank, step up with one foot, land. Nice stretch in the hip. Good, step back, walk back. Bend those knees as much as you need to. Good, step up to the other side. Amazing, step back, walk back slowly, round yourself up. Good, getting back into an air squat, please. Feet shoulder width apart, swing those arms, making sure those knees are going out towards those toes. What I want you to notice, and one of the things that I always look for when I'm checking my client's form, some people, depending on where you're tight, may lean to one side. I want you to make sure, especially if you have a mirror in front of you, to take a look. Are you symmetrical? Are you buckling to one side? Always check in. Nice, swing those arms, core tight. You can come up on your toes as you come up top for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good, jumping jacks, nice and light on those toes. You can always modify your jacks Minimize the bounce if you need to. Finding your breath here. Good. Can you pick up your pace slightly? Good stuff, everyone. Maybe 15 seconds here. For 10, eight, six, five, four, three, two. Amazing, touch those toes. We're gonna do that hip. Stretch one more time, hinge forward. Nice stretch in the back of those legs, walking out to a plank. Stepping up with one foot, land. Rotate this time. Rotate towards the front leg. Other front leg, Allison. There you go. Amazing, float that hand down, step back, walk back. Touch those toes, walk forward. Step up with the other leg, rotate towards that front leg. 
find your breath. Hand comes down, step back, walk back, forward, other side, open it up. Find your breath. Float that hand down, step back, walk back, forward, other side. We're gonna do one more side here, just priming that body extra. Whew. Finding your breath. I'm already tired and we're just warming up. <coughs> Good, other side, last one. Open it up. Amazing, float that hand down, step back. Walk back, slowly round yourself up. Good, grabbing one weight. We're gonna start in a goblet squat. Good, so a little bit wider in stance than we just did with our air squats. You're gonna have feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing out, and you're gonna hold. This might be very familiar for some of you. You're gonna hold a weight like a goblet of wine. You're gonna hold it up here, good? So it's almost like a front squat, except it's gonna be a little bit farther forward weighted, meaning it's gonna kind of pull you forward, so you really need to brace for the core and sit deep, good? We're gonna do 20 of these, good? Unless you have a heavy weight, like a 50 pounder, and you wanna do 15, that's fine, but if you have something like me, a 20, a 15, a 10, a 12, you're doing 20, okay? Deep breath in, come all the way down, squeeze up top. Let's go, and I want you to brace through the core. Every single one counts. Good, legs and lungs today. So we're gonna add in cardio in between our leg sets to give our legs a bit of a breather. Hold on. Nice. For 10, squeeze. Nine, breathe, good. Eight, seven, you got it. Six, for five. Good, four, nice, proud chest, three, core tight, two, one. Amazing, put it down. Good, find your imaginary skipping rope. I am tired today, my friends. Good, find your imaginary skipping rope. You are going to be light on those toes. Good, find what works for you. You can either jump up and down one spot. If jumping does not feel good in your body today, I want you to march, right? You can march, high knees, find the pace. Our intention here is to get our heart rate up. Challenging ourselves with that. Finding your breath. Grabbing that rope. I want to see those arms going also. Hold on, 20 seconds here. Add in some fancy feet work if you can. 15, good. For 10, nine, hold on, five, four, three, two, very good. 10 seconds, we're going back into our goblet squat. I'm giving you short breaks today, but if you require longer, take longer. Pick it up in five, four, three, two, good. So ideally, I wanna see you getting to 90, good? So butt meets the hip crease, or deeper. We're going for 20, you okay, Allison? Good, add the shoes. Yes, today is not a barefoot workout day, because we are adding in the jumping. Nine, unless you're really comfortable with being barefoot and jumping. I always like a little bit of cushion. Proud chest legs, don't buckle in the waist. You've got five more here, I know. I'm right with you. Four, three, hold on, two, one. Squeeze those glutes up top. Yes, put it down. Imaginary skipping rope. Ready? Let's go. Find it, use it, do it. Nice and light on those toes. We're doing three rounds of everything today. I know, it's fast, it's spicy, but we know it works. So I know most people want just two sets of everything. You know you can get through the first and then you just have to suck it up for the second. Third kind of challenge challenges are mine, but let me rest you assure that this third set is patterning in your body, building that strength, that is going to convert to the results you want. Leaner, fitter, 
stronger, faster, tighter, right? That's what it's about. And it's about doing your best with what you got. So I just want you to do your best. Because whatever you got today is good enough. I love it. 10 seconds, I know. For five, four, three, two, one. 10 seconds going into our third set. Take a sip if you'd like. Good, grab that weight. Five, four, three, two. Last one here. Find your breath. So I know you might be getting tired. I want you to bring your focus here. You get a minute breather after this. When I say bring your focus, it's because I don't want you to tap out because you're gassed. I need you to bring more focus here to make sure that core is stabilized, making sure those knees are safe, making sure that back is safe. You've got 10, three, nine, eight, yes, seven, hold on, six, squeeze up top, proud chest, do not buckle at the waist. Good, three, two, you got it, Christina, one, one, amazing, put it down. You ready? Find that skipping rope. You got it. Channel your inner boxer. I think I told you this story before, but when I first became a trainer in 1999, I was a personal trainer at the local gym, Premier Fitness from you guys in the Ontario area. And there was this guy, Steve, Greek guy actually. He was a boxer. And he spent literally hours skipping, jump roping in the aerobics room. Hours. So I know that we can get through this 50 seconds together if he could literally do like an hour of jump rope. How boring, right? Sorry, for me it's boring to jump rope that long. Good. You're almost there, 15 seconds. Stay with me. Hold on. Make it bigger if you can. 10 seconds. Nine. Eight. Yeah, turn it into a jack. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. I'm going to give you one minute here. One minute. Good. So, after your little breather, your break, we're going to go into a side lunge. Here is the challenge. I want you to grab something that's a little bit heavier for this one side, because we're only using one weight, okay? One weight that's gonna be in the opposite hand to the leg that you step out, and the weight's going here. So what it's gonna cause you to do is really brace stability-wise in that core, because it's gonna feel like it's gonna twist you. This is a 20, I don't know if it's a good idea, but we're gonna go with it, right? So it gets you to really drive through and stabilize through the core to get you back up. So find a weight, right? If I'm using 20, what are you using? It doesn't mean you have to go as heavy as me, but I know that 20 is gonna challenge me. And so if you're up for the challenge today, yeah, good. And so if only you're only using a heavier weight if you're able to brace. Meaning, when you're coming down, there's no twisting. This is your fortress. If you're finding that you're twisting, because that's too heavy, I want you to go down in weight, right? I would rather you grab another weight and get really deep than to use that one weight. This is just a, a bit of a challenge. So Allison, just check in if you need two weights. Bettina, check in if you need two weights. Ooh, we've got a heavy weight, yes. I love it, new weights. Shiny, new, fresh, plastic smelling weights. <laughs> All right, are we ready? Good, so I'm gonna start stepping out to my left. I know my left side is a little bit weaker. Core, nice and tight, good. Nice wide stance, good. I want that core engaged. I want it to feel a little bit heavier than usual. You're gonna feel that inner thigh, that quad fire up. Nice, proud chest. Pressing off from the ball of the foot and the heel. Good. If you're with me live, I'm gonna watch your form. We're only doing 50. I wanted to challenge you. Yes. Allison, don't let it twist you. I want you to bend butt down like you're sitting on a little stool on this side. For five. Better. Four. 
You don't even need weights for this. Three, two, uh, one. Yes, other side. So this kind of movement is called an anti-rotation. It's really excellent for back stability, core stability, strength. Good, other side. I want that to challenge you. Let's go deep. Step. Let's go, get deep. You got it, do not twist. Fortress of a core, yes. So you don't have to step so wide. I want that knee to be in line with that ankle. Good, and you're sitting back, like you're sitting on a little stool. Ah. For six. Deep. For five. Ah. Hold on, four. Nice, Allison. Three, yeah, slow down if you need to. Two, Bettina, don't let it twist your back. One. Amazing, put it down. Put it down. Grabbing your sliding pads. Sliding pads. So, we're gonna make this a bit of a cardio component. It's going to feel like both, legs and cardio. Just the way it's gonna go. Good, we're gonna do knees to chest. If you don't have sliding pads or gliders, you're gonna go from here, hop forward nice and light to plank. Pop forward nice and light. Good? If that is too much, you can stand up and march. You can choose. Good? It might feel a little bit longer than we usually do, but I want you to feel that core engagement. I want you to feel, find a tempo you can stick with. Ready? Five seconds. Four, three, two, good. Let's go, knees to chest. Find your breath. Yes. Good, if you need to, you can go to your fists or on your elbows if it's too much on the wrists. If you can stay here, it's easier, I promise. Breathe, 15, 13, 11, 10. Keep going, come back to me. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, good. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds here just to gather yourself. Oh, I spilled coffee all over my mic and the floor. That's always nice. Good, grab that weight. Check in with yourself. How is that weight? Making sure you're not twisting. Good? So I want you to check in. So if you take a wide stance and you bend, that hip should be in line with that ankle, in line with that foot. Right? Because yes, we can step here, but I don't want you here. See how out of range this is? This is wider than my shoulder. Good. I want it to be here, that you can actually sit. Right? So all your weight is stacked here. You can lift this leg up. Right? So Peter, make sure you're not stepping too wide. Okay? Good. Grab that weight. Wider is not better. It's not that game today. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Wide. Sit into it. Weight comes to that ankle. Step together like that. Yes. You want to stack that hip over that knee, over that ankle. Right? We're loading that glute, that hip, that quad. Oh my gosh. Core tight. Don't let it twist you. Good. Bettina, weight in your right hand, please. Ten. Nine. Other right hand, Bettina. Opposite hand to the foot that's stepping out. There you go. <sighs> nice. You got it, Allison. Take your time, core tight. Five. Four. Three. Two, anti-rotation. One. Other side. That should challenge you if you are engaging that core. Firing it all up. Right the other side. Three, two, one. Let's go. Controlled. Two. Yes. Three. Four. Five. You got it. Six. Seven. 
Eight. Oh my God. Nine. Get deep. Core tight, don't rush it. I want you to finish that move and stand tall. Get deep, so stand up all the way, Peter, as you come up. Four. Yes. Three, anti-rotation. Two, one. Brace. Oh my God. Put it down. Very good, everyone. Very, very good. Oh my God, I'm dying. Let's do it together, ready? Knees to chest. Again, option to do an air squat, option to march it out. If being on your hands is too much, good. We're gonna do this together. Five seconds, we're starting. Four, three, two. Let's go knees to chest, in and out. It's gonna feel longer than we want it, but it's where the magic's gonna happen. It's not about overdoing it. And it's also not about underdoing it. It's about finding that sweet spot where magic happens with the lowest common denominator, biggest return on investment in 10. Eight, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness, amazing. I'm gonna give you 30 seconds here. Take a sip. You may have forgotten already because the blood is draining from your head to your legs, but we are doing three rounds of this. Don't get mad. I know, I'm right here with you. We're gonna do it one more time, but I'm gonna give you a little time to gather yourself, to group yourself. Whew, that is tough for me. Are we ready? Grab that weight, check in. Can you go heavier? Do you need to stay the same? Do you need to go lighter? Whatever it is, is amazing. But just be mindful of what does your body need? What does your body need first? And then work with that. You've got five seconds till you go. Four, pick up that weight. Three, four tight. Two, don't forget your four, step wide. When it comes to the inside, anti-rotation, four, engage through the whole time. Let's go. Proud chest. Uh, you got it. For 10. Hold on. 9. Yes. 8. Yes. 7. Stay with me. 6. For 5. Yes. 4. 3. Uh, 2. Two, one. Let's go our final one, make it good, right? And there's always one side that is more challenged or needs more attention and focus. That's okay. We share the love equally here. Hold on. For 10 pound chest. Don't let it twist you. Slow it down if you need to. Eight, bend that leg, butt down. Yes. Six, don't let it twist your body for five. Notice my shoulders square. Four. Uh, three. Uh, two. One. Uh, very good. Last one. Knees to chest. Knees to chest. Don't get mad. You're almost there. So I spilled coffee and I wiped it up with this sliding pad. Guess what? Wet, wet rags don't slide. <laughs> so I'm going to do it all in one. Okay, let's do it. In three, two, one. Good. Knees to chest. Slide in. So you want some lightness on those toes. Good? Even if you're jumping. I want your core engaged. Nice, Bettina, yes. Nice, you got it. You got it, Allison. Keep moving, stay with me. Really good, Paulina. 20, hold on. Come back to me if you need one breath break. 10, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Whoo, mama. Take a sip for me, please. 
I'm gonna give you one minute to gather yourself. One minute, one minute. So, we're gonna get you to do, bring a step, a chair, a box close by, good? You can use the stairs in your house, you can use a sturdy chair, you can use an ottoman, you can use a bench, small child's toy that supports your weight, kitchen stool, really anything, okay? We're gonna go alternating step ups, actually, I'm lying, single leg step ups with weight, okay? Option of no weight, right? I would rather you get, especially depending on high, how high your stool is, I would rather you get your range of motion executing well, meaning not letting that knee collapse in, driving that force right over that foot, coming up, squeezing that glute up top, okay? We're going to do, I know it's gonna feel like a long time. We're gonna do 15 on one side, 15 on the other, good? But we're gonna do a slow and controlled, and we're gonna do a knee drive if you have it in you. I don't know if I have it in you, knee, so that's why I'm sharing that this is an option. Everything is actually always an option, so. Let's bring. You know how you hear basketball players on the court? That's what I feel like. A basketball player is my shoes. All right, I'm going for 12s. Good? Good, so we are going to start with 15 aside. Good? You're going to keep that foot on the box, on your step, good? The reset happened at the bottom. It's gonna suck a little bit. I know, I am right here with you. Core engage, reminder, you don't need weight for this to be effective, good? Core engage, leaning forward slightly. Are we ready? Good, stepping up. Squeeze that glute up top, knee comes up, right back down. If you have the balance in you, to knee drive, all at once I want you to do that. But I don't want this to be passive. Good, I want this knee to be on when it comes up. You got it. Find a pace you can stick with, right? So you can do 15 at your own pace, or when I am finished my 15, I will let you know. Don't let that knee collapse in. Step all the way up here. Squeeze, yes. Drive that knee up like you need it. Hold on for five. Four, hold on, three, two, one. Oh my God. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to get to the other side. A little breather, 10 seconds. I want you to make it good, right? That's why I'm giving you a bit of a break to gather yourself in five, cloud chest, four, Core tight, two, let's go. Drive up, and come back. Squeeze that glute, right? Almost pause up top. Use your breath to help your movement. Controlled, make it good, right? Like if I was beside you and tried to push your leg down, it would not move. If I tried to push you over, you would not move because that glute fired up, leg straight, is activating a strong connection, your kinetic chain of your leg, and instability. You got five more here. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Make it good. Amazing. Put it down. You have 30 seconds. We're gonna right into the left side after this, or the other side, whatever side. You didn't just complete. So, a couple things about this. And this is why everybody always asks me, Catherine, should I also add in cardio? Cardio isn't really necessary if you are maximizing the time you're doing during your workouts, right? Resistance, hits, metabolic conditioning, which is what we're doing today, so basically the same thing, is all really challenging for your breath, right? Really challenging for your muscles, building muscle, adding in that cardio component, right? So oftentimes if you're maximizing and maxing out in these workouts, you don't really need cardio, right? Your walks, your jogs, your cycles are really for your heart health rather than 
your physique, your fitness, your movements, right? Let's go. Three, two, switch legs. Ready? Let's go for one. Sorry, I should give you more warnings than that. Two. Squeeze. Three. Hold on. Four. Ugh. Yes. For ten. Squeeze. Nice and controlled. Nine. Eight. Yes. Seven. Six. For five. Hold on. Four. Yes. Three. You got it. Two. One. Ugh. Other side. Ten seconds. Five, four, ready? Three, two, let's do it. Drive up, squeeze. Oh, I forgot the leg lift on the other side, didn't I? Make it good. Yes. Take your time. Squeeze that glute up top here if you can. Even if you're not doing a leg drive. Nice, Paulina, I see you on the stairs. Good, Allison, squeeze that glute. Ah, five more. Squeeze. Ah, three. You got it. Two. One. One. Amazing. 30 seconds here. We're going into one last one. One last one. Check in. What weights are you using? Are you going to go heavier, lighter? The same? No weights? Good. I want to see that knee drive. If you're not doing the knee drive, I want to see the knee drive. Good? So dial in. That is where the challenge lies. Because people underestimate how much proprioception, brain, neuromuscular connection is required to balance and drive that knee up, right? Core stability, standing up tall. Good, we're going into our last set in 10 seconds. Take some water, gather yourself. Good, five seconds. Make it good. Four, three, bring your attention all to me. One, let's go. For one, knee drive. Core tight. Two, don't swing, flail that body. Three, core stability. Squeeze. Four, yes, five. I want to see those weights controlled by your side for 10. Squeeze that glute, Peter. Nine, it's almost like you're knocking out, walking out that knee. Eight, squeeze, good. Seven, squeeze that glute, pause up top. Six, hold on for five. Ugh. Four, three. <laughs> Two. One. Holy. Ah, 15 seconds. If it doesn't challenge you. And this is why I say these workouts are accessible at any level, right? No weight, small box, soft step, big step, right? It is. You can toggle the challenge, right? Adding in more, ready? Three, two, one, good. Drive up. Two, drive that hip forward. Squeeze that glute up top, right? Don't underestimate the patterning of squeezing that quad, that glute. It's firing in your brain. It's getting that range of motion in, signaling to your body to get stronger, to repair and build this muscle. Becoming more functional, thinner, ah, leaner. Three, two, one, four. Put it down. Holy cow. Woo! It's good I don't have my heart rate monitor today. Because I might scare myself. Good, move those weights out of the way. 
we are going to come back onto the floor. Oh my goodness. I know, that was tough, I know, it was tough. So, we are going to end with a bit of, with a bit of a cardio sweet sequence. I can't even talk, my brain, the blood is draining from my brain. Okay, good, so, sliding pads. Mountain climber, good. Then you need something, something that you can have a gauge. So it can be a weight, <clears throat> inspired by soccer, good. We're going to literally be tapping, good. If that doesn't work for you, I want to see a nice mark, right? You can make it as dynamic as you want. But first we're starting with mountain climbers, I know, I know. But, but here is the trade-off. We are almost done. We are almost done. We are going to put a timer on. We're gonna put a timer on so that you know that I'm not cheating you, because sometimes I know a lot of people complain that I like to go longer than the allotted time, right? I know, the lack of trust, it's a little sad, I know. <laughs> so, we are gonna go 40 seconds on, 10 seconds rest, but really, this is the transition to get your butt up so you can be ready for your toe taps. This is bringing it back for any of you soccer players. You know what I'm talking about. Our soccer drills. Good. So you're gonna start with mountain climber. So you can do this running or sliding. You can do this marching if you want, and we're going into toe taps. So find what works for you. Regardless of what it is, I want you to keep moving, right? Finding what pace you can do moving through it together, okay? I promise, we're going 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off to transition. We're gonna go one and one, break, one and one, break, one and one. So three rounds, as promised, good? Five seconds, four, three, two, let's go, run it out. Let's go. I know, find a pace you can stick with because you have 30 seconds to keep moving. I know, it feels super long, doesn't it? Feels long to me too. Good, 20. Stay with me. If you need to take a break, come back to me when you're ready. Oh, 15. I'm dying to, hold on, hold on. 10, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my God, 10 seconds, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Amazing, stand it up, let's go. Woo, take off my coffee. Good, nice and light. Mark if you need to, whatever you need. 30 seconds. This is really high. Woo. Nice and light on those joints, perfect, Allison. You got it. 15. Oh my God, I need the 30 seconds here. Ah. Timer, timer, timer. It's gonna stop the music every single time. Oh my goodness. 10 seconds, we're gonna go again. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Let's go, run it out. Breathe. I know, this is round two. We are almost there. Getting closer to the end. 30 seconds. Really good, everyone. Doing your best, 25. Uh, 20 seconds. Hold on, 15. 10 seconds. Oh my God. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh. Ah, I know. I'm right here with you. Five, four, stand up. Three, two, let's go. Nice and light. 
So I would rather you do this, good? It changes the patterning in your body, different than jumping jacks, different than speed skater, so if you can, stay with this. Oh, well done. We've got 20 seconds. idea this was three rounds of this nonsense Woo. so some days it feels like I'm completely out of shape and then I remind myself that I'm not right this is why we show up and there is a design this method to this madness of challenging ourselves more it seems like ridiculous a ridiculous idea but the science shows even just showing up with the effort with the intention, with the attitude, makes a difference. Five seconds, four. Last one, last one, let's do it. Three, two, one, run it out. Three, come on, yes. Hold on, hold on. Yes, we can, 30. Yes, we can. I know, I'm getting excited too. 20 seconds. Almost there. Woo! I know it burns here too. 15. Breathe. Ah. 10. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh my god, 10 seconds. Almost there, everyone. Oh my gosh. Five. Up you get. Three. Two. One. Last one. Last one. Stay with me. Oh, I'm losing my long the other ball. I can't. I can, but I'm dialing it back to survive. Woo! Hold on, keep moving, keep moving. 20. Oh. Hold on, hold on. 15. Just keep moving, keep moving. 10. One. Oh, very good, everyone. Oh my goodness. Have a seat. We're gonna do a quick stretch. Ah. So I'm gonna give you a short stretch story. I went a little longer. I have a client. Well, I'm jumping off for a call right after this. So please take the extra at least five minutes after we jump off to give yourself a stretch, okay? Really good, guys. I know that was challenging. It challenged me also. Good, bring that leg down. Good morning, Brian. Proud chest. Sorry, Brian, we just, we just, just finished. So we're giving everybody 30 second stretch and then everyone's continuing on on their own. Regardless, the stretch is always important after the workout. Really good work, everyone. Please continue on without me, and I'll see you all very, very soon.